Hamilton. Pop-up theatre, established in 2011, is at the heart of the Mabinane district. Through these doors, we have seen the likes of Fiona Ramsey, James Cairns, Jason Goliath, David Cow, and of course, Roberto Pombo. For the past five years, Pop-up Theatre has entertained us, titillated us, awed us, and inspired us with their extensive live performance programme. But now, Pop Art faces their biggest challenge yet. Tonight, we speak to the owners, Hayley Evans and Molly Shapiro, about the little theatre that could. Based on audience feedback, what is it that Pop Art needs? The venue was incredibly hot, which made the experience a bit uncomfortable. My only constructive crit was that the theatre was a bit hot and sweaty and I was sticking to my chair. It was my second visit to Pop Art and I found the chairs as uncomfortable as ever. You need to fix some of the seats. Somebody was sitting on a broken chair in the front row. Please make the raises between rows higher as we battled to see as we had larger people in front of us. The show was great. However, the actress sat on the floor for most of the show. And it was difficult to see her if seated from the third row. The show itself was excellent, but front of house is badly controlled. The only thing I could suggest, and this has nothing to do with the play, try and find a place where people can collect their tickets other than, where, other than the bar where there was one poor overworked barmaid. Maybe add an aircon, more fans. Would have been perfect if we had some aircon in there. Winky smiley face again. Loved everything about it. However, it was extremely hot. An aircon or fan would be great. Based on audience feedback, what is it that pop art needs? Well, I think that's kind of clear. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, they haven't minced their words. We definitely need some aircon. We need some secure seats so people don't fall off. Comfortable seats. Comfortable seats as well. And then from our side, we know that when we install new seats, it means that our lighting desk can't stay there. It can't move, like, even here. Like, sometimes, sometimes I fall off. Like, like now, like, it happens. Yes, we have beautiful chairs donated by the Fugard Theatre. There are actually those flip chairs. Um, like fancy theatre chairs. Yeah, really beautiful, and we're really excited about them, but we just need to get them installed here safely and securely so that no one can fall off. And this brings us now to our next point where our wonderful long-legged farmer can <laughs> sit comfortably at an actual the technical desk and go, yeah, on a lovely mezzanine lid. And then the plan is also to move the drywall in here. And therefore extending the bar and box office so that it's not cramped and people don't have to worry about Standing in lines and poor overwork bombings. Yes, poor overwork bombings. That's so this this whole area will be like our front of house, beautiful reception. Imagine this with no doors, just beautiful open space, maybe a couch here. Oh. Like donate, donate. Because then you could sit on a couch before the show. <laughs> and that would be really nice, wouldn't it? It would. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Help them to help yourselves. Hashtag Pop Art Theatre. Hashtag Choose Live. Help you help us. Help. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>